guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do something a little different. I wanted to do kind of like a vlog, but what I eat in a day cutting series. I'm not sure how often I'm going to be doing this. I guess it just kind of more depends on the day that I kind of feel like doing it. But I want to shoot for doing at least once a week just to see you guys like my process and just kind of like how, you know, my body's feeling and how I'm feeling and all of that stuff. I'm trying to do this seriously. We're going to do this. I'm doing this with my boyfriend, Matt, for like two and a half months until November, like mid-November because we're going to Cancun. So I just kind of want to like, you know, shed some of that weight. I lost eight pounds my first cut, but then honestly, the last month, I just gave up. I was just super like not motivated I just like was like I just want to eat lamia and like I was like crying at one point because I was so frustrated and like what I couldn't or could not eat and it was just kind of hard but it's been about like six seven months now and I'm a lot more educated I kind of know how to do it I've been lifting for about like eight nine months now so I'm pretty good on like what I'm doing so I thought it'd be a good time for me to you know record and show you guys what I'm doing by no means Am I, you know, I know everything, like I'm not a nutritionist, like I'm still learning as I'm doing this, so you guys are just going to be kind of going through the process with me if you guys care, and yeah. So I just wanted to tell you guys what I ate for breakfast this morning. So I've been using my fitness pal. That's the app that I use to track my macros, and right now I'm eating can't remember off the top of my head. I'll tell you what my macros are when they go downstairs. But I, this morning, I had an ice caramel macchiato from Starbucks, skinny. And then I had a reduced turkey bacon breakfast sandwich from Starbucks. And that caramel macchiato is so delicious and so, like, macro friendly you're gonna be really surprised like you're not really drinking your carbs or you know there's not much sugar in there so it's really really good okay i just decided to go downstairs but um so i had that ice caramel macchiato for my coffee this morning and let me show you the macros on that just in case you guys are unaware so a grande ice caramel macchiato skinny you gotta say skinny um is 190 calories one gram of fat, 34 carbs, and 10 grams of protein, which I think is pretty damn good for, you know, what you're drinking and so delicious. So really, really like that. And I got the reduced fat turkey bacon, which I'll have the macros down below. So that's what I have for breakfast. And then for lunch, um, it's been kind of hard. For, I it's kind of hard for me because the way that my schedule works, I work from 10:30 to 9:30 if I'm working that day because I'm a server, and then we have a break between 2:30 to 4:30. And every time I bring food, like they sometimes make food that isn't bad for me. Like today we had salmon, girl it's salmon, but the chef cooked it in like I feel like it was like a lot of oils, but he had like a lot of carrots onions like there's a lot of vegetables so i had about i want to say about six ounces of salmon and like the vegetables and stuff with half a cup of steamed rice i didn't have a food scale or anything but i kind of just this is just like obviously like a guesstimate it's nothing accurate but the size of your palm is pretty much like about three ounces so that'd be kind of like a good like a little reference to go up on but i think that dish had a lot of fat so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna stay under my fat grams for today and just kind of even that out but I just came back from Wegmans so I wanted to show you guys what I got and what I'm planning on making for dinner today okay guys so this is what I got all this from Wegmans was $50 so I got bagel thins because I love bagels but you know they have a lot of carbs in them so I just got the bagel thins which have 34 I believe I was 25, 25 grams of carbs per serving. Got that and I got the fat-free cream cheese to have with it for breakfast. Then I also for like a breakfast food, I just got um, the Greek yogurt strawberry cheesecake. Matt loves this and I actually like it a lot. So I got this for breakfast. 
you know, in the mornings, I don't have time. So something like really, really light, quick and easy for me to do. And then, of course, I got these fruit for like just simple, like good carbs and just getting my fruit servings in for the day. I got chicken breast tenderloins. Um, the reason I got the tenderloins, like Matt, you know, started getting the tenderloins as well just because it cooked faster. And honestly, like, I don't really ever finish like, a whole thing of chicken breast whenever I cook it all just because, like, my schedule is so flip-flop. Like, I'm never home or it just doesn't work out for me. Like, I don't have time, so I try to get something small portions, which is why I only got a pack of this and, like, try to get, like, small things. This is another breakfast item. Guys, if you have not tried this, you need to do so immediately. Why is it not focusing? This is so bomb. If you eat this with like an egg and toast, it's honestly so good. It's like an English inspired breakfast. Oh my god, it's really not focusing. I got my friend Jen hooked on these and the macros are actually really, really good. Um, there's one gram of fat, 29 carb and six protein per half cup, which is like literally like half of this which is insane i'm so sorry that this isn't focusing but it's so 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 good you need to buy it or you're missing out promise um today i'm planning on making some barbecue pizzas for dinner so i just got this pita bread fat-free mozzarella a little bit of onion cilantro and then i'm going to be using this trader joe's um stracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce what is up with my camera? Okay, there we go. I actually haven't opened this yet, but I tried a sample of it because the lady was making something. And, uh, girl, it was so good. So, I had to buy me that. So, I'm going to see how this is later tonight after the gym. Got my egg whites. Also, I got like, the really small version because I don't want this to go bad. Got some taco seasoning. I'm, probably, I'm trying to uh, mix this into my egg whites. For like a late night snack if I like need to hit my protein because I realized I saw Jazzy, Jasmine Garcia do this on YouTube so I was like I need to do that. Got some thin spaghetti because I was going to make maybe like a chicken parm with some of the chicken breast tenderloins. So I'm going to have this with me and then the oven baked barbecue lays. And these guys are probably one of the best like chips they can get you want to have something that's like not too bad in fat it's 3.5 grams of fat and 22 grams of carbs two protein and about 28 grams of chips which is a really good handful this is probably the serving is probably you know it's like little little small bags of chips it is so good so yeah that concludes a little grocery haul. Wait, oh my god, I have ice cream. I forgot about this. So I got Halo Top as well. I love Halo Top. Some people be hate on the Halo Top, but I love me some Halo Top. So I got the chocolate chip cookie dough and the cookies and cream. These are the new flavors. I think that just came out. I never tried them. They look the most um, enticing to me because they both have like chocolate. And it's that time of the month for me, so I'm just having a big craving for it. So now we are officially done i'm gonna watch some bachelor in paradise relax a little bit go to the gym i'm gonna do back and buy today and then make my little pizzas and show you guys where i, I am with my macros and go from there okay so it is almost eight o'clock and i got back from the gym and i'm about to put my pita bread pizzas in the oven so here is what i got so far I'm using two of the Joseph's pita bread. I have two servings of mozzarella fat-free cheese. And then I use the chicken tenderloins. But I don't use two of these and it's three ounces cooked per serving. And it turned out to be the exact, exactly two ounces. So I was like, oh shoot, like that's awesome. And then I did two servings of the organic sriracha roasted garlic barbecue sauce so this is going to go in the oven for 350 for about like 10 to 12 minutes and hopefully this turns out well i'm going to eat this with my diet coke and a serving of the oven baked barbecue and i'll show you guys how my macros look after this Here. 
here. Oops, sorry, you guys are out of frame. These look like it's gonna be amazing and like definitely gonna get my pizza fix, which is great. And I'll show you guys the macros on here as soon as I am done eating all this. <laughs> Okay, we won't know if these are good unless you have a taste test. So, here we go. Oh my god, this honestly smells so good though. I'm pretty excited. Wow. Wow, this is so good. The pizza only is four that hold on is 4.5 fat 37.9 grams of carbs and 51.5 grams of protein which is insane because i can never hit my proteins and i can get so much out of this pizza and if you add the carbs it only changes it to eight grams of fat 59.9 grams of carbs and 53 53.5 grams of protein which is still really good for like this meal right here and i'm also drinking a diet coke like i am so happy right now i literally am so happy wow hopefully i'm pretty sure this will fill me up and i'm gonna end it with some a serving of halo top for cookies and creams i don't know if i'm gonna be able to record before this battery dies but I Okay, I am so sorry. I'm not really sure what the last thing I said because I ran out of memory. But I think I was talking about my the numbers of on this thing. Shouldn't I talk about that already? Okay, so currently this is how my macros look like. I changed it up a little bit. So I pretty much hit my macros. I have 20 grams of protein left, like pretty much done with that, and 24 grams of fat. And I left that because I did eat that salmon earlier today, and I wasn't sure how much, um, you know, was in there because I didn't make the food. I'm gonna end the night and finish up my macros with hail top cookie and cream. I'm gonna have a serving of this. And that's it. Like this type of video and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.